Today we're discussing Star Wars Shared Empire number 4. This is the fourth and final issue in this miniseries that covers events post Return of the Jedi. This issue is written by Greg Rucka with art by Marco Cicchetto and published by Marvel Comics. Just a heads up, this episode contains spoilers. Issue 4 plays out quickly and on a smaller scale. It begins with Admiral Akbar informing the Rebels that the war is not over and there is virtually no end in sight. The Shattered Empire miniseries is largely focused on A-Wing pilot Shara Bay and giving fans a look at the events that will lay the groundwork for the seventh movie The Force Awakens. This issue concludes her story with a lighter mission and notably features a significant amount of Luke Skywalker. Previous to this, we only caught a brief glimpse of Luke in issue 1, but in this issue he makes Shara his co-pilot. This is most likely the last time we'll see Luke before any of the events in The Force Awakens. Reactions to the character of Shara Bay have been all over the board as to whether or not we've seen significant growth. Looking back now, I think we've been given a window into the character that is just enough for us to like and care for what she does. She acts as a contrived means to interact with the major characters of Han, Leia, and Luke. After finishing Shattered Empire, it has now become apparent that it was written simply so that the primary characters could establish relationships with Poe Dameron's parents and nothing more. Another observation I had is that there's also never any tension because Shara is so capable of handling herself that we never feel as if we're in any real danger. She never faces any real challenge, even when the other characters acknowledge the stakes. It's almost like fan fiction. Back to the issue at hand, Chara and Luke land at a base on Vatine and impersonate ISB officers to recover something that the Emperor stole a long time ago. The important relic thereafter is the remains of a tree that grew at the heart of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Luke mentions that the Force is within them. These branches can feel and affect the Force. The tree at the center of the Jedi Temple would have soaked up the Force for thousands of years. It's speculative, but the intended understanding is that it can also affect those around it. There's a bit of conflict as Luke and Shara try to escape the planet with the branches, and boy does Marco Cicchetto end this series on a high note. It's worth noting that Cicchetto took this issue on alone, and it really shows in the way the characters are drawn. For the most part, Luke's look is spot on. The art in the final action scenes is the best in the series, and it's possible even some of the best art of the year. Oh, and Luke uses his lightsaber. The issue concludes with the heroes escaping with what they came for, and Luke giving one of the branches to Shara to take back to her home planet. The series ends by literally planting the seeds of what is to come in The Force Awakens. In the end, Shared Empire ended up not being what was promised. It was neither an epilogue to Return of the Jedi, nor an introduction to The Force Awakens. As I said at the beginning of this video, it was a way to connect Han, Luke, and Leia to Poe Dameron's parents, while providing a little bit of fan service. What this series did get right is give us a look at the perspective of the people actually fighting in the war, and how it affects their families. I think the biggest surprise of all was that the Damrons made out of this miniseries alive. I was 100% convinced that at least one of their paths would end in tragedy. Before I wrap this up, I'd just like to list the three major takeaways from the series before we head into the movie in December. 1. Palpatine ordered the destruction of multiple worlds in the event of his death. 2. Shara and Kez are Poe Dameron's parents. 3. Luke and Shara recovered the remaining pieces of the tree from the Jedi Temple. And lastly, Poe most likely grew up in proximity to said tree. This final point, paired with a scene from the latest trailer, has me believing that some of the force magic has rubbed off on Poe, but that's yet to be seen. All in all, this issue and this series were not what I expected, but I can say I enjoyed putting the pieces together each week. I think this series could have benefited from a few more issues, but obviously Disney doesn't want to give too much away. Were you satisfied with the conclusion of Shattered Empire? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the series as a whole in the comments. Please like this video if you watch it all the way through, and if you haven't already, please subscribe right now. We post a Star Wars review every single Thursday as long as Marvel puts them out.